Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. One of the biggest tips on Apex Legends that is not talked about that I feel like needs a lot more attention when we talk about loadouts in Apex Legends and how to push and how to play defensively and offensively. In today's video, I'm going to highlight that and how you counter certain weapons. You know, we all joke about the fact that there's a meme on Apex Legends. You can't tell what weapon is being shot or audio when somebody sneaks up on you, but it is very important, especially when you pay attention to the kill feed in the upper right when you get eliminations, what gun was the one doing the work and getting eliminated and what how many bullets you believe the opponent has shot but also how important it is if you believe that let's say for example you heard a 30 30 and you heard a longbow shot that this person does not have a loadout that is effective for close range so we're going to do we're going to segue into the test range real quick and then we're going to go into some real life scenarios that we're going to replicate and teach you what this means and how to improve as a player as this is one of the biggest tips that I guarantee that you'll step away and improve as a player. All right, everybody. Now, in this segment, I have Marianas helping me out as an example. We're going to be replicating some scenarios and explain how to counter things. Now, one of the most annoying things is having to deal with a charge rifle that is hit scan that does a massive burst of damage. If you understand how one of these weapons works, so Marianas, go ahead and try to shoot me. And if you hide right before the burst of damage, you can take a few shots. You want to be able to duck right at the end of it. So as long as you know, let's say you're in a peak battle, I'm going to shoot Marianas and back up and try to like get that burst damage at the very end of it. If I know that he's going to take a shot and I'm peeking, go ahead and take another shot. And then you burst and hide and keep ducking and weaving. It's a good way to counter it. Now, just remember your hitbox is very key. So Marianas, if you don't mind switching with me, and you, he'll be able to highlight for me why I was getting hit initially. And the reason why I was getting hit was to show you guys, if your hitbox is too big when you try to hide, then you want to make sure that your hitbox is small as possible. Let's say you only see the head. So once I go ahead and peek, so getting a headshot, and I'm going to shoot three, two, one. And then trying to duck afterwards is going to be much easier than showing your whole body. So if you show your whole body, Mari, going to move up a little bit more. So we show your whole body, then yes, it's going to be much easier to hit those hit those shots, which is why you want to showcase as small or as small of a hitbox as humanly possible. Now that's how you counter a lot of these weapons. You can understand a cadence. Now understand that some opponents have generally have more accuracy and tend to be more on top of their game than others. But this is just one of those tips, especially when you're peeking, that you want to avoid. Not everyone's going to be perfect with the charge rifle shots. You want to make it as difficult as humanly possible. And let's talk about the next tip. Now in this example, we want to talk about the most infamous of knowing what your opponent's loadout is. So Marianas, if you don't mind, go ahead and charge up that PK for us. You can already hear the windup. You know without a shadow of a doubt, if you push somebody with a PK, that they're going to do an incredible amount of burst damage. Now, whenever they do an incredible amount of burst damage, you want to be smarter about your approach by hearing that charge up shot, by trying to perhaps juke them. Maybe take a shot here and then maybe throw them off and then wide swing it. That's how you counter knowing that if they have a charge shot, what they're doing. This can apply for the triple take, but knowing their loadout is very much key to being able to counter that loadout. Perhaps you may not even want to take this encounter to begin with. You might hear two charge shots from a distance. You hear those wind up and you know you can hear them, especially if they're on the door. You might actually back up and then Mariano, if you don't mind, peek out here. Then boom, you know who it is and there you go. Now you have the range. You know that a peacekeeper is not as effective as a charge rifle at distance, which can be a massive tip to helping you improve. So in this segment, it's going to be the last segment. If you want a part two of this video, we can give some more in-game examples in-game. Mario, are we down for that? Giving more yeah. real life examples. So Let's if you leave it. a like on this video, trust me, you're definitely gonna want to see more. This is kind of the basis to it, and definitely more willing to get more advanced. So Mario's gonna go to shoot with his 3030. And next with his R99. Very distinct patterns and gunshots that happen, especially even if you hear a wingman, just as an example. Now, the information he just gave us means that he, we know that they have a 3030 and an R99. And sometimes based on the R99, since I didn't tell Mari to put any attachments, go ahead and take some shots and unload that R99 until you need to reload. You could tell that he may not have, actually, do you have, do you have an extended mag on that? I do have. Yeah, I could tell, because <laughs> if I shot mine, <laughs> It, it only goes for so long. You see what I mean? It was very interesting. I was like, wait a minute, yeah. there's an extended mag on that. And that's the point exactly. You can tell if somebody has an extended mag in their gun based on how long they're shooting or not, which is very, very important. But also, you know that he only has an R99 in his loadout. So let's say, for example, Mari Godin's goes ahead and shoots his full R99 when I peek and goes and blasts for cover fire. And a lot of new players make this mistake. So I peek and he just keeps shooting. And I decide, you know what? He's already taken his full shot. I can counter that by white swinging. The only option that this player has, for Marianas as an example, is to squish to a 30-30, which most players don't do because that means that he's going to have to hit fire shoot at this close range, but luckily I have an R99 that I now have the damage deficit. So it's very important to understand that. So let's do another example, and then we're going to come right back and then wrap up the video. Now in this last example, it's very important to wait out sometimes your opponents and how many bullets they do have, specifically when you run into guns like a Spitfire or a Devotion. Let's say you start pushing and your opponent already starts blasting you and he starts winding up and you use cover and you keep peeking and you use cover now you know that the extended reload on that takes an extended amount of time 
and you can knock your opponent because, of course, if you're using a Spitfire or anything. But you have to understand the weak point of your weapon that you're choosing as well. Now, understanding that the weak point of the Devotion is the fact that once you reload and you're kind of out of the fight, because, Marianas, you can confirm that that loadout takes an extended period of time. Yeah, that's a very uh, one of the longest of the game, actually. Yeah, yeah so LMGs. then you know without a shadow of a doubt that if somebody comes at you with a Spitfire, I mean, they're going to be spraying for days. Like, you know that if you're trying to win a fight against this, especially with an extended mag, it's going to take an extended period of time to pretty much have to survive, which is why it's so frustrating to run up against this. And it's so important that you maximize your loadouts. Let's say that you're running an R301 and you're running as well as a sniper, that close range, it's gonna be very difficult, specifically with the new ARs, that they have a lot of spread. Sometimes it's not too bad when you're close range, but missing those extra shots when you need to get a knock and then you have to reload the gun in front of them is very, very detrimental. And most of the time, why you might be losing your gunfights. So pay attention, here's the key takeaways. And Marianos, you'll remind me if anything, and then we'll close out here. Make sure you understand what guns you're going up against based on audio sounds, make sure to wait out the mag. You don't necessarily have to contest them and you can sometimes wait them out to know when to push. If you got the damage deficit, then yes, wide swing them and push them. As well as understanding when you're fighting guns such as a charge rifle or a sniper, understanding the cadence of that weapon to understand, oh, I need to keep my hitbox small so they don't necessarily charge rifle me to death. Or if you're using, let's say you hear a sentinel shot, then you know they can only take so many shots within a standard period of time. But Mari, I appreciate you for hopping in and helping out in today's episode. I think people are going to get a lot of information from it. And definitely let us know if you want a part two where we can go in-game and give some more real-world examples about this. Bye, everybody.